Hello everybody. I am back and I've got a new video for you. I went garage sailing this morning and I would like to say that I got some good finds. So first house I went to, um, he had six NES games. Four of them are in sleeves and they are as follows. We have tennis for the NES. We have Gremlins 2 for the NES. There was only one made and it was called Gremlins 2. And I got that in brand new condition. That white mark is just for me, but I'm going to clean that off. And, uh,. I'll tell you how much I got all of these for right after I show them to you. And then I got a game that just recently became rare and popular because of a popular YouTuber's positive review on it. I can assure you. Okay. Jackie Chan. It's Action Kung Fu. This game is going for about between $70 to $80 on the cheap end cheapest on eBay in US dollars. In Canadian, uh, the cheapest is like $107 Canadian. So that's pretty good. And yeah, it's legit and everything. And uh, yeah, you can imagine uh, how much I paid for that one. Yeah, the sleeve for it was, you know, all, it's been used. And I'm pretty sure that's the original sleeve for it. So that's cool. Then we just got a same old, same old Super Mario Brothers Duck Hunt. We have an ice hockey with just a plain black sleeve. That's an okay game. Not one of my favorites. I definitely like uh, baseball more than ice hockey. And then last but not least, I haven't actually played, got to play this one yet. But it looks pretty cool. It's Pinbot. That's going around for about ten dollars U.S. ten dollars, yeah, in U.S. dollars. I did not bargain for this deal. I did not have to. It was cheap enough. I could have probably got it for a dollar or two cheaper, but I think the guy was very reasonable, and he knew it was a fine price. He probably would have loosened up a buck or two, which would have actually made these a buck each. But dumb tennis. These actually, I have got all of these for eight Canadian dollars, which means it's about in U.S. for you guys out there, a dollar a piece, a buck a piece. So even though I could get this one, I could sell that pretty quick. If it'll focus. Alright, Action Kung Fu, I am going to keep it because when am I ever going to get the chance, like if I need that for my collection, like when will I ever be able to do that again. Next up, I went to a block sale, actually some lady said she had a box of video games, the guy said that they didn't, I think he might be lying, I came back an hour later like she said, so I don't think he really wanted to sell them. Which, that's fine. That's fine. But, uh, you know, you don't really have to lie. All you have to do is say, I don't have them. Or maybe he really didn't know he had any. Anyway, I got this cool... It looks really cool right now. It pretty much looks like an ad for it. With this great flashlight. Super... The new Super Mario Bros. for the Nintendo GS. DS. A gypsy stole mine when I was on vacation. She stole my entire library, including Diamond, Pearl, Super Mario Bros, and a bunch of other games that I can't really remember. Some Lego games and stuff like that. But I picked this up for two loonies, two dollars Canadian. And that's about a buck fifty US for you guys. And then, last but not least, I got this great 60 in one electronic project lab. It's pretty retro. 
it's also could be very useful too it's pretty good in condition it's all brand new inside it basically looks like that box except that stuff right there that's all in a plastic bag all still sitting there and I picked it up for Looney thanks for watching guys I really hoped you enjoyed that video so yeah that's pretty good all together 1985 set new Super Mario Bros and about a hundred and fifty dollars worth in games for eight bucks. It's a pretty good day for me. All right, see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.